What's up guys, welcome to my channel and today we are back with some of the reaction for the Denmarchi episode 11 and 12. Alright guys, so yeah, I, we finished this pretty quick to be honest. Okay, I actually felt like season 2 is just, you know what I'm saying, I guess we've been watching two episodes at once. Only one time I uploaded one at one each. So anyway, so that was pretty good. So anyway, we ended up with a pretty crazy uh, finale is what I like to say. This generally feels like, uh, the last episode generally felt like how the season should have end so i don't know what's going on now you know what i'm saying because we do have two more episodes so we'll see what happens but anyway so it was pretty crazy you know Otar, this dude is crazy this man didn't even have to do anything his presence alone is pretty damn strong to the point this guy literally bit her up with a you know just one hand going down like that that is pretty good i guess the toad did make him pretty mad okay because she was comparing herself to his goddess you know what i'm saying and the other thing is it's funny these guys are kind of like uh, annoyed that's why maybe uh alan was it the fastest adventure right so he's the fastest adventure, which is pretty good i think that's why he doesn't like bell as well because you know because freya is all about that bell you get me she won that bell like so bad to the point the whole reason she even came out here and decided to basically destroy ista was all because of him so that just shows how much of a thirsty seeds for my boy okay you know what I'm saying matter of fact she was even excited that you know the charm's not gonna work on him it's crazy it's crazy but anyway so yeah quite a finale her him is saved so i'm pretty sure she's gonna be with us which is great and like i said aisha definitely wanted to make sure that she's in good hand which is why she was trying to go at it with bell you know what I'm saying which makes sense you know you don't want someone that you truly care for to be in like some wrong hand so i guess she just wanted to make sure that bell's gonna take care so anyway so i'm generally happy with the finale obviously because now we don't have to worry about the you know it's our family at all and guys the key is fucking hermes okay this guy is the fucking deal here he's making sure everything's happened here you know what i'm saying at the end of the day he's the one that's playing around with all these you know what i'm saying so hermes is not to be looked down on he acts dumb and all but you know he ain't okay he knows a lot so he's basically trying to make bell the new hero so which is i guess in a way good because that way he's gonna help us but it's hermes at the end of the day he will do fucking anything so you know what i'm saying but anyway guys Quite a bunch of episodes. I'm not going to babble on too much. This is going to be the last two episodes for the season two because I'm excited. I think how many, how many episodes seasons are already there? I think season, so we got what like three and four as well, right? And then I think the five just gonna got announced or was it four? I'm not sure. But anyway, we're gonna continue is what I'm trying to say. With that being said, let's go ahead and check the new episode, episode eleven out. Let's go. Am I in the right anime? What the fuck? Um. This is Demachi, right? But look who it is. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what? I'm a bit confused. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah, wait. Now Aisha's not in a freaking family, too. When is she joining? Uh, I'll fucking... So, hurry him with us. Like I said, hey, yo, our gang's gone. You get me? Hurry him OP, by the way. She crazy. Can you on the back? She, she trying to go direct yet? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, I should, I should don't care, bro. They obviously, you know what I'm saying? Hestian, I mean, I should can do anything to me, I guess. And relax, you gave me. Okay, so does that mean like Harry Hume never really done it? Or like what? Cause I mean that's what I was thinking too, right? As soon as she saw like uh, Bill's collarbone, she she freaking fainted. So I don't know. three great quest. The story about how the world is waiting for you. All right. Okay. Not them. The family is Zeus and Hera, which. The strongest family in the yep. They work together. <laughs> yo, 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 this is too much. This is too much information that we're getting right now. Wait, wait, wait. So wait. So there are three great quests, right? And uh obviously right now it seems like obviously Loki and the Freya family is the strongest, or are you? But like Hermes said. The previous family is Zeus and Hera family were the strongest. Okay, they were the strongest family out there before. So they joined together to defeat these three monsters that escaped from the dungeon. And they managed to defeat uh, Leviathan and the other one, two of them. But the last one, the Black Dragon, 
actually freaking annihilated them. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Shut the what the hell, bro? Two, I got wiped out. What the fuck? Wait, wait. Does that mean that Bell don't know? Like, uh, did? Because we do know that Hermes did say that Bell's grandpa is Zeus. Am I right, guys? Uh, but why doesn't Bell know? Well, maybe the Zeus. I don't know. I'm still confused. There you go. It exists. Damn, uh, two has, but every adventure right to be one. He's a god. <laughs> god, god is picking up a fight with the freaking all right. <laughs> I and mean, there's Freya and Loki family are there, right? <laughs> Fighting against him right now. Okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> oh, good. I don't know what's going on. Why is she so, you know? <laughs> wow. Okay. Now that's too much, Hestia. Not even tell, bro. Facts. Tell her, Lily. Okay, guys, okay. <laughs> of course, right? She gotta, otherwise, it look bad with her and Bill. <laughs> Damn, she just chucked her. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> My man is like, uh, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Bill. Yes, yeah, they are rejected, bro. Okay, worthy of dating again. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I guess in a way, okay. He has a point, you know what I'm saying? Okay, they're trying to make some money. <laughs> the girls, bro. Look at him, bro. Get up. Come on. We came here all the way. Actually, I'm here, by the way. <laughs> I gotta chill. Okay. God is God is taking another trying to take another god of hostage, bro. Uh, that's a pretty good question actually. I like that. Okay, damn, okay, so it does I guess it shows that uh Hestia. Damn. Look here, we've already made our mistake. My man rejected it. <laughs> Damn, okay. Okay, but please don't fear. Makes sense. Alright, has to hear What are you? Why is she making the god do the work? Okay. Ganesha, it's Ganesha, bro. That's why the the line is too big. Because <laughs> Ganesha. Ganesha, that <laughs> facts. Ganesha, indeed, bro. Oh, it's them right there, bro. <laughs> of of course. Well, basically, our goddess is getting kidnapped here. Yeah. Okay, this is becoming more of a hassle than I ever thought. Okay, there was quite a lot of them there. Okay, with him. Ganesh, I know. God damn it, my boy in his pose. <sighs> God damn. So, wait. Are they helping us? Oh, Ganesh, my Ganesh is getting played. <laughs> okay, I'm Ganesh. That's what, oh shit. <laughs> Facts. That's right. Loki washboard, let him go, alright. <laughs> Facts. It's been a while, you know, I haven't seen Aspi, so hell yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, we're actually out of Orario, you know what I'm saying? Didn't, I never really thought we were gonna get out of this place. <laughs> Just the way she calls her, bro. <laughs> 
Well, that has to be us. Okay, let's get it. Us, us be cool, by the way. War God. He's the War God. And I'm sorry, War God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a joke, bro. Yeah, okay. Um, cameraman flare. No. Okay, at least eyes is out there. SV. I guess SV can't. Oh shit, there's a massive ass freaking river down there. Okay, um. Well, at least. Just is having a good time. Bills I have looking after her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so I saved him. Mayra. <clears throat> He's pretty cool. Okay, but I are having a good time. Bro. But the funny thing is, I just don't give a shit about him, my boy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Like I said, she's having a good time, yeah. She's gonna try to make sure that she's sick for a while to me. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Good harvest, huh? Nice. And that's crazy. The outside is like a bigger world. Or are you just a piece of like small town there? Just because the dungeon's there. But outside there's freaking kingdoms and village and all that shit. That's crazy. I mean, look, look pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> look at this dude, bro. Oh, God. Yes. What is it? Some rock? Scale from the black dragon? Black dragon? Black dragon? Whoa, when he was driven from Orario by the great hero and fled north. Scale fell from his body onto this village. Damn! So fucking hero, that means clearly referring to uh eyes and paps yo god damn so wait does that mean Isis paps was never i think yeah one of you guys actually told me that he was never really with like a family yeah or he never re re received a blessing from any other god god damn Isis paps must have been a monster then bro to the point that it ran away so that means he could have defeated it then Yo, this is crazy. I don't know. I might just be overthinking it, but what the fuck? I see, I see, I see. Okay, makes sense. No wonder they would pray. Because of the scale. Hmm. Facts, but I guess they... It's benefiting them. One eye. So does that mean I just have to destroy the other eye? Yeah, you can see the hatred. I think she doesn't like it. But to them it is eyes, because that's what's keeping them safe, you know what I'm saying? But I understand. Does that mean that maybe the dragon killed as a paps? Okay, it's an emblem from the family. Maybe he used to be in a family. There you go. Damn, okay. There's a proof here. He couldn't protect her. Basically, goddess saved him, huh? And she, yeah, because when the gods die, they go up. Okay. Without taking away. But what about the door? Damn, bro. Yo. I was not expecting that. So I actually. Damn. That's crazy. I guess that's pretty good. Like, at least Bill gets to learn a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? About that he should make sure. I mean, don't I'm not saying that Bill doesn't care for his dad. He definitely does, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm surprised he's talking about it. What the hell? Okay. Don't worry, Hestia. She feels nothing. Don't worry. I'm telling him, bro. She has like a little bit of maybe this much. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's pretty cool. There's like a freaking cities and kingdoms outside of Oraria, you know what I'm saying? And the black dragon's still out there, so that is pretty crazy there, too. Why not? 
Okay, I was not ex expecting that. Okie dokie. <clears throat> yeah, quite a chance, Hestia. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds fair, actually. <laughs> but he's just he just respects it too much to the point that he doesn't want to, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully maybe now but I don't know. He genuinely likes eyes eyes, you know, eyes <clears throat> eyes. So I don't know, we'll see. It's happening. The dance anyway. I <laughs> don't know how much true it is, the serious thing, but yeah, we'll see. Because clearly he sees nobody else but eyes. There you go. Yep. Dang. Yeah, because God live very, very long. As long as nothing crazy happened to them down here, right? Because otherwise, even after that, they'll go up anyway, so. Reminded him of his... Damn. His goddess, yeah. Of course, Hestia would know, right? Of course. But Hestia is like an old god, right, guys? In mythology and all that. Oh. She always come. She, okay, she just, she just. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. She definitely did care for him to the point that you know she would take a hit from the monster. Good question from him, actually. Okay. Oh. Um. Wait, what? I don't know. A bit confused, but... So Hestia is this as a last wish or something? Because clearly, no way Hestia is the same goddess as, you know, his goddess, so... They forget everything. Damn. Okay, well, that's, uh... Sad. So he does know that his grandpa died, huh? The misuse is gone, yeah. Was it revealed? I don't think so. He never said anything about that. Yeah, it has to be a cool lie, guys. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. This is tough right here, yeah. I'm not going to say anything. It's, uh, it's, it's Bell's decision. Damn. There's no other better god for him than Hestia, for sure, bro. Because Freya, all she wants is, you know, to juice out my man. <laughs> I gotta chill, bro. I'm sorry, guys, but you all know what I'm trying to say. Like, Hestia generally does care for him, you know what I'm saying? To the point is next level caring, right? And Belle also does care for her, respects her, but not the way how Hestia wants him to. You get what I'm saying, right? So at the end of the day, it's Belle's decision on whatever he does. Okay, bro. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Back. Aspi! Yeah, Aspi is what? She was just watching us from the top or something? What's up, y'all? Are you American? I'm sorry, you got too many rivals. It's not easy for her. It's a monster, right? Fuck. Fuck. Um. Okay. Quite a way to end the goddamn season. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, guys. Uh, Out of the two episodes, obviously the main part has to be when Hermes uh, told us about the three great quest. Right? So, obviously, before there were strong... Uh, Family, yeah? I mean, don't get me wrong, some of you guys have already spoiled me on the first season about that. But, uh, yeah, so the first two uh, great quests was uh, was completed by Zeus and Hera. Uh, so, which is obviously uh, Bell's grandpa is Zeus, right? And uh, so, we still don't know, like, uh, Bell's actual, like, parents and all. But I guess, I don't know, I can't even speculate anything. 
but anyway, so we do know that uh, so Zeus and Hera like uh, decided to work together to complete the three great quests. So these are like the basically like the highest level of quest in the Denmachi you know world. So two of them they did because they joined force, but the third one they couldn't. They actually got annihilated. So which is pretty crazy, but that means that Zeus did not. I guess the family got annihilated, not because the, the gods were okay. Because Zeus was still with Bell, right? Because he was looking after him. Am I right? Because he was looking after Bell, and then he passed away. Because Bell just said, "I'm not sure whether if he told us at the beginning of the season one, because I do not remember it completely." But now he just said that yes, Zeus has passed away, and he was saying that he was crying like crazy. So yeah, so that says that Zeus is gone, and they did try to do the three great quest. They completed two Leviathan and all that, but because these monster ran out, am I right? Out of the Orario uh, dungeon, am I right, guys? Because they ran out, and then that's why they went to like take care of it. So two to gone, but the black dragon still lives. And Bell was saying something about the book, like about the one-eyed dragon. So that means probably either like the Zeus family or Hera family, because they did kind of work together, managed to inflict the damage in his eye. And this also say they also say something about like uh, the you know him running away, the black dragon running away, am I right, guys? Running away from the hero. And we do know that Hero is basically, there's been given hints even in the oratoria and all that stuff. And you guys also like kind of explaining to me. So the Hero is definitely Isis Pops, right? And that just shows how crazy Isis Pops was. Because uh, we do know that uh, he did not receive, I mean, you guys did tell me that he did not receive a blessing from a god. There was no gods at that time. So... Man, he was a monster then, bro. Like, what the hell? What type of human is he to freaking basically go and fight the final boss without no blessing, nothing, bro? But he is crazy, that guy. What in the world? But that's a show, like, because he was the hero for a reason, you know what I'm saying? So, which is pretty insane, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, this is pretty good, uh, you know, seeing all this, like, kind of like a god and the children's relationship and all that they're being some god and children generally falling in love to the point they were like you know that crazy for example the mayor dude out there he generally fell in love with the goddess goddess also fell in love with him she saved him while he was getting attacked and all that stuff so god damn it kind of hit me pretty hard you know what I'm saying because the fact that my man didn't even marry nothing you know what I'm saying he was just just lived on his own man thinking about his goddess you know what I'm saying it's pretty crazy he adopted the girl so yeah i mean i don't know you know i really don't know how i feel about it because look at that especially after what hestia said because after when human die they forget about all the memory and they become like a soul they, and then we they get born back you know what i'm saying i don't know it could also mean that nah i don't know it wouldn't make sense i'm sorry i was about to say like what if bell had already died on the last time uh and like the hero and then born back here now nah, i'm sorry i it's just getting out of hand <laughs> but anyway guys so yeah we uh, that's probably the only crazy part we managed to learn here and also the fact that there's actually a vast world outside there's more kingdom there's more village outside the orario orario is not the only thing only reason there's you know orario is here is because obviously the dungeon is here this is where every adventure would go to level up and all that grind and all that to yeah it all makes sense you know there's a bigger world out there and the dragon is not even in the dungeon am i right guys because they did say that the dragon ran away while he's running away. That's when his scale fell off in the village. But obviously, because since his village don't have no gods around with them, because every gods are on the Orario, and some gods are like, oh, look at the idiotic god out there who's trying to kidnap him. <laughs> it's funny, bro. It was, it was funny. It was pretty cool, though, don't get me wrong. So, like, because obviously they got nothing else, no adventure, no, no one to, like, protect them. So only thing that's keeping them safe is the, da the dragon scale, right? So... To them, that's basically a god. No matter how you look at it, even if it's like a... Whatever it is, doesn't matter. That scale is kind of protecting them from the monster. So you can't really blame them for, you know, worshipping them. You get me. But anyway, guys, overall, it's been a pretty damn good arc. Don't get me wrong. I genuinely did love the season two. Definitely good. But for me, still, like, season one still gives me that, you know, extra, hint, like, this much higher than the season two season two became good on like when freya came in and try to save bell and all that shit so that was the only cool part but still like season one definitely but we'll see what happens in season three they also kind of teased us there's this girl or a monster i don't even know what the fuck that is so yeah the i guess that's 
that has to be a tease for season three. But anyway, guys, hope you guys did like this more reactions. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe button, and the notification bell, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I wanna see you in slow motion. Come stay the night, we can stay up till it's bright in the morning, got the top open. Come take a ride.